Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video here about something that a subscriber asked me about. Um, I got a message asking me what uh, I would recommend as a security combo to protect your computer um, from just about anything, whether it be viruses or spyware or uh, even uh, junk mail, that sort of stuff. Um, there are two different routes you can go. Uh, obviously, uh, you can either pay for the software yourself or go out and purchase it or purchase it online. Uh, or you can go with free software. Um, for right now, I generally tend to go with free software as I'm unemployed at the moment. Um, but uh, I, I will tell you that uh, there are a lot of free soft there are a lot of free softwares out there that are very good and very competent at uh, doing what they claim, and that is uh, cleaning out viruses and spyware. So uh, should you get them. Um, right away, I just want to take you right here to the internet, and um, the first thing that we're going to do is handle uh, uh, handle antivirus. Um, now, I, I know a lot of you uh, already know about AVG um, because it's just uh, it's a really big uh, it's a really big company, and a lot of people are starting to know about it if they if they didn't before. Um, AVG is definitely one that I would recommend. First of all, there is a free edition, um, which uh, essentially is just an antivirus. Um, uh, that's uh, I, I do like to have a separate anti-spyware program, but I know that uh, I can tell you that for a fact it is very competent at uh, cleaning up viruses and any sort of that sort of thing. Um, I've had uh, a lot of friends uh, bring their computers to me and ask them ask me to remove viruses, and uh, generally what I'll use is uh, is is uh, uh, or I'll clean it up and uh, generally tell them to uh, get AVG after, and they usually don't end up with any problems beyond that point. So anyway. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go here to the free AVG website. I'll post the uh, the link in the description box below the video. Um, and as you can see here, there are two versions. Now you can see that they're both say free, but however, this one here is the complete security protection package. And uh, the problem with this is that it's just a free trial, so you will have to pay for it after uh, uh, after a certain a certain period of time uh, if you so choose to continue using that product. Uh, that being said, uh, also with this one, you have to register with your email and such, which uh, is kind of a pain. What I recommend is this one right here. Um, this is the free edition of AVG Antivirus. And uh, as you can see here, they'll try and convince you that uh, you want uh, these paid ones, which this one is $58, which is a lot of money, um, for things that uh, you can get other programs to, to do, um, especially if you're using a, uh, a, uh, business, uh, a business email. You generally wouldn't need any sort of uh, spam filtering or that sort of stuff. Anyway, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go to the free edition right here. And as you can see here, core protection, uh, essentially antivirus. That's all we really need it for. And you're going to go ahead and click download. And you can see it's free, which is nice. We, we like free. Um, it's going to take you a link here from uh, CNET. Uh, CNET, very reliable. Uh, definitely trust this link. Um, you, can, you go ahead and click here, download now. And uh, in a few seconds, yep, there it is right away. And it's going to ask me to uh, download it. Now, uh, right now, I actually have a uh, version of uh, Norton Antivirus installed on my computer. Um, well, so I'm not uh, I'm not going to install this over that um, simply because that would mean that I would have to reinstall it later, and it would just it would just be a pain for me. But essentially, what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit this. Uh, once it's done, here I'll even save it for you, and, and you know you can see right here how it would come up. Uh, just so just so you know, go ahead and run that. Um, it's extracts itself right there, and it initializes installation right here. And essentially, you just go through this installer just like you would any regular installer. You accept, click a bunch of boxes, and you move on and install it. And uh, you'll install it on your computer. Very simple to use. Uh, basically, you open it, and I think uh, as soon as you open it, it asks you if it wants to do a, a kind of a, a preliminary check of your computer to see if it's safe. Now, uh, that's the one. That's my first recommendation for a free antivirus. A second one is one that I found through a uh, few friends in college. Uh, it's called Rising Antivirus. Antivirus. Yep, you can see it comes up right there. Um, believe this is the link. Yep, you can see here by the uh, lion head. Um, now I recommend this one because uh, I had a professor in college who. Uh, who recommended this to me uh, when we were working on uh, some networking in uh, in college? So uh, the the problem with this one is that unfortunately uh, the actual internet security package is a 30 day trial. Uh, however, there are two free useful uh, utilities here. PC Doctor here uh, will help you with uh, with spyware as well as a bunch of other things. Um, 
And uh, however, the uh, the rising antivirus itself is very good, and the 30-day trial is quite a bit, and you could always renew the trial later uh, just by re registering with a different email address. Uh, you would be doing that about a month at a time, uh, which I suppose you could do with the AVG, though I'm pretty sure the AVG period is a little bit shorter. <clears throat> that being said, uh, I do recommend this one, uh, as it was recommended to me by both by friends and a professor in college. Um, so take that uh, into consideration. Secondly, what I'd like to do from there is um, <clears throat> go ahead and uh, back to Google. And uh, I want to take you to a the website of a very good spyware program called SpyBot Search and Destroy. Uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy is essentially an anti-spyware program, which is very good. Uh, I recommend this to everyone. Uh, you can go ahead there and click English because we want English. Uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy right here. Now it is free, which is nice. We like free. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and right here, SpyBot Search and Destroy 1.62. Click the download box right here. Um, you can go ahead and pick any mirror that you want. doesn't really matter. You know, go ahead and click this one. Again, I'll put these links in the description box below. Uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy. Where is the down? Oh, here it is. Download button. Uh, downloading, you can see it pops up right here. And again, I'll save that for you just so you can see what the installer looks like. Go ahead and open that. Run. Yes, we want in English. And this is basically what the installer looks like. Very similar to any typical installer you'll see otherwise. Um, I'm going to close that because I already have it installed on my computer. As you can see, it's right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that for you guys. Uh, as you can see, it loads right here very quickly. Very light program for those of you concerned about this slowing down your computer. I know that that's a reason why a lot of you don't buy proprietary uh, antivirus software because it is very bulky. Uh, for example, Norton is one. Uh, however, my computer has enough uh, memory and processor power to handle that, so I'm completely fine with that, having, with that running in my computer. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you do install this program is, I believe this asks you this upon install, um, but you're going to want to go ahead and click uh, Immunize. What Immunize will do is essentially take like it says right here, take preventive measures against spyware by using methods inside your browsers. Essentially, this is for cookies and uh, that sort of stuff that goes on when you're browsing the internet. Um, this is something you definitely want to do right away because everybody browses the internet and you want to make sure that you're safe. Um, another thing that you can do right away is check for problems. This will check for any sort of spyware or malware in your computer and immediately fix it. And if it can't fix it, it will give you a recommendation as to what you can do to fix it. However, that rarely occurs, if ever. Um, Another thing you can do is actually you can uh, back up information uh, if you so choose. Once you uh, have fixed any problems, it will ask you if you want to back up any anything uh, that you are deleting. Uh, that can actually be restored if, if uh, for example, uh, you find that you have a virus somewhere in your computer that uh, uh, it could damage a lot of stuff, and you delete that file, and you end up finding out that that file was a crucial file. You can go ahead and get that back. Similarly, if you have a file, if you have, if you were to somehow uh, contract a virus via a document or something that was sent to you and you still need that document this is another way that you could uh, recover that file if uh, if your spy bot ends up deleting it um, those are my uh, my tips as far as free software goes again I do recommend the free because uh, while it may not uh, give you the large features such as online online sweeps through your email uh, I believe that you don't really need that and for the money that you're saving I think that this is this more than enough uh, is good enough for the job and uh, you'll be very satisfied with uh, with this software here um, I will I will have a list of recommended paid software in my in my description box below this video, uh, which may include such things as uh, Kaspersky Antivirus, which is a very good one. I definitely recommend that. One of the top antiviruses out there, and not too many people seem to know about it. Uh, a lot of people seem to think Norton is the best. However, uh, you know when you're the best antivirus, the, that comes with a lot of problems, and a lot of uh, uh, people try to crack your security. Uh, that being said, Kaspersky is a good one. Uh, I believe another one is called Bitdefender. That's a great one as well. Uh, very highly rated. Um, and you know, uh, as far as those things go, when they're rated well, you can definitely you can you can uh, trust those more often than not. Both of those are actually rated better than Norton Antivirus. I just have Norton Antivirus because it came with my computer, um, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it so far. So Norton is uh, Norton's a good one as well. Um, but uh, that's really my recommendation as far as free software goes. Uh, paid software, again, I'll have a quick list of things in the description box below. Um, however, SpyBot Search and Destroy, I definitely recommend whether you want paid or free software. It's uh, definitely worth uh, the download. 
Uh, it'll keep, keep your computer safe and clean. Um, so that's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Uh, so thanks a lot and I'll see you guys next time.